McNair led the Titans on a miracle run through the playoffs that culminated with a matchup against the Rams in Super Bowl 34. The Titans quarterback from Alcorn State, number nine. Here's this vagabond group of guys, you know, with really no names, led by some Alcorn State quarterback, you know, going against Dick Vermeil and Kurt Warner and Marshall Falk. Arr, all the big guys, you know, it was the classic, you know, David versus Goliath story. Goliath was up by seven with just under two minutes to go. Excellent effort by Steve McNair. Steve put together a drive like no other. You could see his heart on his sleeve. Like he was doing everything he could possibly to put us in the position to tie the ball game. McNair steps back, rolls left, rolls right, and bad trouble back in the 40. Somehow, McNair escapes. He was just breathing confidence. You can just feel his energy, and we were feeding off of that. It was like, okay, Steve, take us home, man. Take us home. So it all comes down to this. Six seconds to play in Super Bowl 34. McNair drops, throws right side for Dyson. He dives for the end zone. Didn't make it. He came up one yard short. I look up, confetti comes out the sky, and we just stand in there stunned like, that's it? The last drive, that shows you how his life was. He never gave up. Steve McNair has nothing to be ashamed of. He gave it at all. The further you go in the playoffs, the deeper the cuts, the deeper the wounds, the greater the hurt. Despite the loss, the Titans received a hero's welcome back in Nashville. Their starting quarterback was now the toast of the town. You go from really being Steve McNair, you know, the quarterback of the Tennessee Titans to, oh, Steve McNair, uh, the man, the legend. How do you feel, Steve? That's great. I feel good. Uh, it's, just, it's a great situation to be in at this moment. Uh, the Albany fans out here to support, they showed up through the years great. Man, they just love you. Uh, I love them too. The same here. From that point in time, Steve could do no wrong in Nashville. It was the VIP life. It was the champagne life.